So now in this video, we're going to take a quick look at the active buzzer. And the uh, active buzzer is polarized. And one thing about the active buzzer, we can connect it directly to a power supply, to uh, 5 volts to be exact, about 5 volts. And you can see it's filled in on the back. Not all buzzers that look like this are active buzzers. If you see circuitry on the uh, back there, it's a good chance that it's a passive buzzer. So, in any case, I'm just going to plug it to uh, these two uh, jumpers right there. And it's polarized. The plus is up there. That side more positive. That side more negative. We're going to take a push button switch, as you can see on there. And uh, turn it the right way. There we go. And now we have that on the board. And uh, the power supply right now is off. The output is off. So I'll press the uh, power button. Now the output's on. And we got that loud beep. I probably should have warned you ahead of time, but I kept it pretty quick. But in uh, any case, that's it for this. It's uh, just applying power to it or not applying power to it. These ones, though, I see as uh, 5 volts. And I got them to buzz with a uh, lower voltage. But uh, I think uh, 3 volts, they don't uh, sound very good. And I don't know if it's bad for them to uh, buzz them. Okay, it's still pretty loud at uh, 3 so let's go to two and it was quieter so maybe you got a range but don't go above five that's what they're rated for so any case check out uh, one of the other videos i'm posting click uh, like subscribe the bell all that good stuff i'll see you in the next video